it's time for another video. Not just any video, as you can see, for the first time today, what we're gonna do is a Timu haul. It's not sponsored or any of that, so got that out of the way, but I had to see what this was all about, so I ordered some, so you can see my name there, Christy. Cool things, and that's what we are gonna get into today. This whole pack, there's lots of stuff in here. I paid $65 for everything that's in this package. I'll put on the screen, if I can, what each individual thing costs in case you want to pick it up after I go through it and review it. Without a lot of talking, we're gonna get on into this because there's lots of stuff in here, and I'm super excited, so y'all know the drill. We're gonna take this, open it up, and just get on into all this dolly loveliness. Okay, y'all, I took it all out of the big over package. It's just, it's so awesome. It's so overwhelming. I hardly know where to start, but we're just gonna get on into it. I think first I'm gonna show you these. Look at this. Now, I know these are not the best quality, but they have a wide range of articulation and I've bought dolls like this before that were like, you know, the budgety kind. This one says Belula, I think is how you would pronounce that. I have no idea. I'm way into the hybriding now. If y'all haven't been around my channel very long, that's like a new obsession of mine. So I thought these bodies would be great for that. This costs like $7.50, I think. And you get this outfit she's wearing, this other outfit, and this adorable outfit with the cat on it. Oh my goodness, I love this one. Plus, three pairs of shoes, because she's wearing one, and then they give two. And she's got a bracelet, and a necklace, and earrings. And the face is not that bad, as far as I'm concerned. You know, a lot of these ones that are budgety, the face can be really, you know, not pleasant. But this is cute enough. I'm not mad at it at all. So. All of this cuteness, and I thought I could use this body, like I said, for hybriding. I'm excited about this, and I'm so glad. I'm gonna take them out and like review them or whatever later, but this haul, there's so much stuff. I don't wanna do that now. It'll be way too long if I do, so this is the first girl. And next, I got this one. Now, they were listed as this one was purple and this one was pink. That's how they were listed, like in the thing. She actually has rooted eyelashes, I think. Yeah, rooted eyelashes in there. It was hard for me to tell at the angle. I just, like I said, thought these were really cute. There's three outfits. There's three pairs of shoes. You get the doll body and you get two necklaces and earrings. The faces are not that bad. And this one has purple in her hair. This one back here is kind of an auburny red color, but I know the outfits aren't gonna be like the highest quality and stuff, but for $7.50, a lot of us are buying these bodies for hybriding that are $15 and $16. And I figured this is good enough for me for some of the ones I wanna do that are not as fancy. Like I wanna try some skippers and stuff because I like the skipper face, but not the little tiny body sometimes. So that's my plan for these. And if you want to see the back, both of the back of the boxes look the same. It has this barcode thing. I'll put in like some of the things if you want to know. Just ask and I'll look it up. But these I just thought were a good deal. So I had to grab them. For the same reason I grabbed these. I didn't know the heads would be off. That was kind of like, I was like, what in the world? But I got these for hybriding. Plus I thought the faces were really cute. So I'm going to open these ones up because they're easier for y'all and show you more. ASMR. <laughs> Now this one had pink, pinky, pink hair, but just look at these faces. If I can get this off of there without too much trouble. Yeah, oh, oh wow, y'all. The hair is really thickly rooted and nice. Oh, wow, I was not expecting that, not at all. And just look at this adorable face. This was less than $3 for the body, you know, for the whole doll. But I got it to try. I think this should be pretty easy, hopefully. Let's see get the head on there. Okay, I had to go off screen because I didn't want to bump my setup, but it wasn't that hard. The only thing that I don't love is that there's no up-down articulation. There's side-side, but no up-down. But look at all this. You get the upper arm movement. You get, it looks like, yeah, double joint. Oh my God, look at that. <gasps> look at that. That is a way double jointed joint. And the, oh wow. The wrist too, and the wrist, Oh, the wrist turns. Wow, that's a lot of movement, y'all. I really wasn't expecting that. And then there's this going on here. And then the legs, let's see, they go all the way up, all the way out. And again, a double knee joint. You can't beat that. Like I said, less than $3 these were. Super cute. Oh, I, I might keep this one like this though, with the pink hair. I love her little blue eyes and her little pinky rose hair. 
with the little fringe. Oh, it's so cute. And it is really nice hair and really thickly rooted, y'all. I'm gonna put the other one together real quick. All right, y'all, got this one together. She's cute, don't get me wrong, but that one just gets me. This one has pretty nice hair. It's pretty thickly rooted as well. Just not as thick as that pink one. I don't know if that's a fluke one that it was so thickly rooted and so nice, but I noticed when I was doing this one, they have space for earrings too. Like, come on with that. So definitely happy with these. The bodies are not thick, thick, but they're not, they're not as cheap as I would have thought, to be honest. Now the feet are kind of tiny. That is a weird kind of thing that the feet are so tiny, but you know, if you put them in shoes, you won't be able to tell. But like I said, I bought these for hybriding for like most of those dolls that have, that I want to like try stuff with, or maybe their bodies are just not nice or they're broken or something. So this is a good alternative, less than $3. So I'm super excited for these. I think I'm keeping the pink one like that, gonna dress her up. But this one, I'm gonna use the body for hybriding. So yay. Next I got these two little dollhouse rugs. I was gonna get, cause I've seen people getting like the mouse pads and using them as rugs. But then I saw these and I thought, well, I'll try these first because these are way cheaper. I think these were under $2. Like I said, I'll do my best to go through and check what I paid for everything. Pretty nice. I wanted to take it out and feel it. It's all embroidered on the front. Now the back being like this, I think would get pilled if you played with it too much. But what I'm going to do is glue some felt to the back of this or maybe some like rubbery something so it won't slide, but something, I'm gonna put something on the back of there so that it won't pill up my pretty like design on the front. Just look at that. I mean, that's like actually woven, y'all. Really pretty. And I've got this colorway and this one, I'm gonna open this one up real quick. This one is not as detailed to me as the blue one obviously, but I do still like it. I got it to be a neutral, you all know me. I'm a pink girl, as you can tell by my nails. Pinky pink is my favorite, but I thought this would be, you know, like I said, a nice alternative. Now they are wrinkled from packaging because I did wait a few days, but you know, it took a few days. It didn't take very long. It took a lot less time to get it shipped here than I actually thought, but I can just, you know, put these in like a book and flatten them or something and they'll be fine. So I'm super happy with these. Next, I got these and I'm super excited for these. I saw these chupa chupa in somebody else's haul and I thought, oh, these are adorable and they didn't have that many left and this, is a glass jar and this is metal, but just look at these y'all, if I can get them to come out. There we go. Look at these, look how detailed they are. Look at that. Are those not the cutest? And they are the perfect size for the dollies, perfect size for their hands. Let me show you, see? Perfect size for their hands, put a little like, Museum putty, blue tack, whatever you have, that sticky stuff, that would be perfect, love it. Next, I got these little burgers. There's lots of them, I don't even know how many. Let me count. Okay, there's 10 burgers in here. Look at the cute little burger. Now I know it's not perfect, but it's pretty good, y'all. And I couldn't make these for, you know, the time it would take and the scale and everything. Like I do love making miniatures, don't get me wrong, and I've been doing some of that stuff behind the scenes and I'm gonna share it with you. The little coloring on this to make it a little more believable, like maybe some on the bun, like do the seeds or something, and definitely the bottom. But like these are perfect, because I told y'all if you haven't been around my channel and you don't know, I'm definitely gonna make a diner someday because diners are like my favorite and like all that 50s cuteness, you know, poodle skirts, all that good stuff. Loving it, so this will be perfect. And I know I keep saying it, but I'm gonna quit saying it after this. These were the most expensive things I bought and they were, like I said, I think $7, $7.50, something like that. But I will do my best to put it in after when I'm editing. But after this, I'm not gonna say any more about pricing. It'll make the video take way too long, even with editing. So I'm gonna stop that. But I love these and I'm super happy for them. Next, I got this pinky pink, welcome Matt. Now, it's not as nice as I thought it would be, but I thought it would kind of be, you know, a little on the cheapy side, but it was just too cute. And I'm such a pink girl and I just wanted it. Like I said, I know I probably could have made this myself. Pretty easy, cute, cute, love it, love it. Can't wait to make a diorama for y'all. Well, for me and for y'all someday soon. I hope. And in the same vein, I got these few little rolls for my sweet shop that I'm gonna make someday. Now that one painted not too well, but on the one side with the swirl. These are super cute and look with the strawberry on the top. And you get four and they're all four different colors, which I love that, you know, for making a sweet shop. That is so stinking cute. Now they are a little bigger than I thought they would be, you know, just from the pictures, but you can't tell. That's why I did this. I thought I'll do a video so some of us can see some of this cute stuff and get an idea what's what and sizing and scale. They are made pretty nice. 
I do have to say, as far as that goes for what I paid for them. So super happy with these, adorbs. I also grabbed these, these are like, the rolls instead of like how those are short, these are longer. I'm not sure what these were supposed to be called, but look at the little dollops and the cherries on top. I'm loving this. Oh, these are so cute to make a sweet shop. Oh, these are just so stinking cute and perfect. If I made like little shelving, these would look so yummy licious for the dollies. Love it. And then I got these. There is 10 in this pack and some kind of pastry. They don't look exactly like I thought they would, but I'm not mad at it, to be honest. They're still cute and I could still put them in a bakery scene or whatever, you know, diner on like one of those domed platform tray things that diners have. Still would be cute. Not unhappy with it, but they just don't look like I thought they would. Just you know, I wanna put that out there, you know, cause from the picture, they looked a little different. Glad with these. And then I got these two adorable pinky pink baskets for like a bathroom or a kitchen or something. Look at the woven detail. You can pick that up. These are adorable. And to me, they're like the perfect size for that kind of stuff. I like the little faux handle there. Very, very cute really happy with these. Okay, y'all. Any of y'all who have been around my channel for a while will know why I bought this. <laughs> because it's a bunny. And oh my goodness, let me get my scissors. This is so cute. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It is tinier than I thought. I do have to say that. So stinking cute. Look at this bon bon, y'all. Oh, I love the way it's painted and the little face. Oh my goodness. This is so adorable. And pun intended, I went down a rabbit hole as you're gonna see, but this is the first one. What a cute bunny. Next, I got this one. Just gonna cut it open so we can see how cute it is. Oh my goodness. And it's pink. Ah. Oh, can you see? Can you see the little detailing in the fur? I can. Oh my goodness, this little chubby, chibi, cute bunny. Oh, I'm done. These are so cute. I paid a little more for these than I think I should have, and they are very tiny, but they are so cute. Love it. Like I said, went down a rabbit hole. Now all these are individually packaged, and then I'm gonna take them out and show them to you individual. Okay, y'all, I'm dying. Look how cute these are. Now this was a four pack, and these are much bigger. Little like resin or whatever bunnies. Oh, look at the little hearts and the little feet. Oh, and the pink bow, so cute. And then there is this cutie. Not sure what this is that it's supposed to be holding, but still cute to me. This is probably my least favorite out of the four, but still cute. And then there's this one holding the little carrot. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. These are so stinking adorable. Oh my God, I'm in bunny heaven. Oh, and then this one is my favorite cause look at the little bunny purse that it's holding and it's pink. You know I love pink if you've been here for even half a second at my channel, loving it. There's gonna be things because they are not that expensive like that little ridge there, but I could file that off, but I'm still not mad at it. Look at the little foot sticking up. These are just so stinking cute, love it. Okay, I lowered my setup some so you can see more of these cute little things. Continuing with the bunnies, I got this big pack and I open it and then show them to you individual. Okay y'all, there were six in this pack and I'm in love with this pack. This pack is made much nicer than the other one. I did pay a little more for this pack. If you're a bunnyaholic like me and once I like put the conversions and stuff, I would definitely say these are more worth it. They are made much nicer. Look at this. Look at the little wings. Ah, the little bunny butt tail. <gasps> Oh, they're just so cute in the little faces. This one has a carrot and so does this one. It's just different how it's done, like you could set it. Look at the little wings. I'm loving the wings and I love how it looks like it's trying to pull the carrot out of the ground and look at the expressive ears. <gasps> I am so in bunny heaven, y'all. I love bunnies so much. You guys have no idea. Like, I love dolls more than I love bunnies, but they are very close. And then there's this little one, look at this. These are so kawaii and cute. I love the little expressions and how the ears are turned and the bodies are molded. And just look how happy with the little heart on the hand. Adorbs, so cute. And then there's this one with the little wink and a heart again. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time to pick which one of these ones is my favorite. They are so stinking cute, y'all. I love how expressive these are. Okay, this one might be my favorite. I don't know. It took a bite out of the cookie. Look at the little chubby cheeks. Can you stand it? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I love like, see how its body positioning is? 
and everything is so detailed. The little tail, the little toe beans on the feet, the little wings. Oh, so stinking cute. And then last, but certainly not least, this little guy in the top hat with the wink. So cute. I love these, y'all. If you are thinking you want some bunnies in your life, I would definitely say this pack over the other one would be my choice just for quality and cuteness. Even though the other ones are really cute, I like these ones better. I got these for detailing and for just dolling around, whatever. See these? I don't know how well you can see that with the thing. You can make belts out of these. And I got not just this pinky pink beautifulness. I also grabbed this like tealy, kind of bluey, whatever you want to say, colorway. So, so pretty. Look at these two together. Oh my goodness. And then of course I couldn't resist getting the pearly white as well. I am definitely going to have so much fun like, you know, making Dolly OOAKs and custom outfits with all this beautiful stuff. Look how shiny and iridescent it is. And there's lots of pieces in here. I don't know exactly Exactly, but I know it says on the listings that when I'm editing, I will put all that in like cost and everything and how many pieces per little pack. But love these y'all. Next is this. Some of this stuff was double and triple wrapped. I took the outer outer package, but then there's this bubble wrap and then this. I know what this is. I'm so excited for this y'all. <gasps> Love it, love it, love it already. Look at this vintage radio. This is so me. Look at the faux detailing of wood on the top. And then on the back here, has the little holes like an old radio wood, and then the knobs and everything. This is so detailed and so, so nice. I love this. I cannot wait to make a mid-century house and have this be the radio for my dollies. So cute. Love this, guys. This is so, so nice. Definitely, if you're into the same kind of stuff that I am, I would say this is a definite buy. The quality, you know, it feels pretty heavy. For what it is, it has nice weight is what I'm getting at. And it is way detailed, really, really nice. And then I grabbed this because I couldn't resist me and my vintage self. Look at this old TV and look, can you even stand it? It has antennas that really work. And look how detailed this is. Look how real it really looks. And I think you could pick that off if that bothered you. It doesn't really bother me, but just look at the knobs and everything. They even move. What? Shut up. The knobs move. Oh my goodness, I love this. Now they had this portion, you could pick different colors. I liked the way this one looked at illustration. I like how it looks in person. You might prefer the all black one. I think they had one that had red and then one that had wood. I almost got the wood one, but something about this just spoke to me. So I had to grab it. I love this y'all. These I got more for me for sewing, but look at these fancy dancy thread cutting scissors. Oh, I just love the iridescence. I have been wanting some of these and I would see them in like Joann's and stuff. Oh my goodness. These are really nice, y'all. The quality of these seems really, really good for what I paid. Let's see. I don't want to cut anything that's like not fabric, but hang on. Okay, I tested them off camera on some fabric that I had close by. They work really well. I just got them as like thread cutting scissors or like delicate cutting scissors. They're a little bigger than I thought they would be, honestly, from the illustration, but I am not mad at it. I've seen these in Joann's and Michael's and places like that in the sewing section for like way more, 10, 15, 20, 30 dollars, depending. I think I paid like three dollars for these, but love these, super glad to have them. Next is this, and I can tell because of the color what it is. I couldn't tell when I had the other bag on the outside of it. And so ASMR right now for y'all. Sorry if you don't like that. Some people love it. I don't try to delete it out of my videos, but I try not to make it overly whatever. But oh, this is so cute. I saw this on a different channel. Forgive me. I can't remember which one. Now I know this opens, but I don't know if I can get it open with my fingernail. So hang on. Okay. I got it off camera. Look, it even has a fake cassette. Can you stand it? This opens and the cassette comes out. I'm dying. <laughs> this is so cute. They had a uh, red and a couple other colors, but I just liked the blue and let's see. Nope, these don't move like the other one did. These move though. And so does this, do these? These don't feel like they turn, but this does. Like, look at the detail on this. And then the little thing on the back, I think this even opens. Oh my goodness, it does. This is supposed to be where the batteries go and it actually opens. I'm not trying to mess up my nails because I just did them for y'all for these videos, but super duper cute. 
loving this. My dollies are gonna be jamming with their boom box. So funny. Okay, next I got these and they're like charms. They're all metal and they're in this rose goldy tone. I don't know exactly how many there are. I suppose I can count. I just thought they were pretty and that they would be nice for doing like dolly things, adding to things. Like I could sew that through the holes onto a custom outfit or something and this little fan detail. There's just so much cute stuff in here and I just wanted to see the quality of this stuff because they have lots of these little packets. Look at this little flower. Oh, that's so cute. And there's two of this, whatever this shape is, like a stop sign shape. I can make earrings out of these. These are so pretty. I am loving this. So glad for this. Yay, look at all this cute stuff. Okay, y'all, everything that's left is fashions for the dollies. Now, this was the stuff I was really curious about. I had no idea if I was gonna like any of it. I just went off the pictures and whatnot, so we're just gonna see together. Obviously, I got this because it's pink, pinky pink, and oh, it's soft, y'all. <gasps> oh, and it does have a closure. I couldn't tell online if it did or not. It does have Velcro there. I might remove that and put a snap. Look at this. Oh, it's pretty soft too. I was debating whether to do it in a separate video or keep it in this one, like try some of this stuff on. I don't want the video to be too long and it's already around 20 minutes. So I think what I'll do is just show it to you in this video. And then if y'all really want, I'll do like a mini fashion show of just what I got from the Team U so that we can see how it fits together. But I'm loving the quality as far as like the feel of the faux fur is just so nice and I love this color. I was hoping color would be as nice as I thought it would be online and it is. So happy for furry pretty jackets for the dollies. Oh, I got a few dresses and they're all kind of similar but not. I just wanted to try and see what these would be like. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not bad y'all, not bad. Got the Velcro here. And then the little sleeves. I just thought this would be super cute. I was really intrigued by how they looked on the dolls that they had them on in the pictures. And the quality is not bad. This is really nice and thick here and stretchy. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is like get it wet, you know, cause it's all wrinkled from being in packaging. Just get it wet. Do that separately though, because you know, I'm not sure these colors might bleed. Like if you get the same stuff as me, but I'll let you know. Usually what I do is I have like a little form. I put it on the form and let it air dry like that, you know, with the form up underneath it or whatever. So this is really cute. Sewn pretty well, cause I'm pretty picky y'all, you know that. So checking it out. The only thing that's not so great is the Velcro and you know, we can deal with that. So really cute, glad for this. Next one I got is this pinky pink one. And they're all like these big foofy skirts, but they're different. So I really like the big foofy skirt. Love that, y'all know me and loving the ball gown. This is sewn pretty nice, really foofy skirt. But like I said, it's all smashed from being packed away. This is a little halter neck dress and I just love it. Love the way it looks in person to my eye. Can't wait to try these on some dollies for y'all. Next, I grabbed this one, and this one is in the black colorway. I think it's the same as the last one though, but I just wasn't sure which one I would like better. Yeah, this I'm definitely gonna take off and probably replace with a snap, because see how badly that's done, and I just prefer snaps anyway. And this being this like crinoline-y kind of material stuff, I don't want it to pill it, but this is so thick, y'all. So, so thick. I might trim that. See how thick that is? under there. That's just a me thing. I might trim that so it lays better, but there's nothing really wrong with it. Just that's a personal thing. But just look at all the flounces. This one is made really, really nice. Love that y'all. Pretty, pretty. Okay. Last of the foofy ones. I believe this one. Yeah. Is the same as the first one with the red. I couldn't decide y'all. I really couldn't. And they were, you know, so cheap, like as in price, they're not made very cheaply. I mean, as far as that goes, some of this stuff that you get is way bad, but this is all sewn really nice. Edges of this are not hemmed, but they don't need to be on this kind of material. And there's like four layers here, which is real generous. It's all the way around. And like I said, sewn pretty well. So I am happy with these so far. Yay, can't wait to do the fashion show with y'all. Next is this little set. And when I saw it, I thought it was really cute. So we'll just have to see if I think it's as cute. Now here's the little hat, a little fluffy fur hat. <laughs> cute. And the fur is really nice and soft. And then you get, oh, I love it. 
I thought I was gonna like this when I saw it online, and I do. I really like the decal on the shirt. The hem at the top here, as you can see, is not done very well. I might reinforce that because I don't want it to come loose. Can sew it myself or put some of the like fabric glue on it, but you know, it's okay. This is not sewn as well as those dresses, that's for sure. And then this, kind of stuck because of the Velcro, see y'all. That's why I don't care for Velcro, but y'all know that if you've watched any of my videos. And then like stuff like this, I just give it a little snip snip. No biggie, all gone. So there, the little skirt is pretty cute, pretty decent Velcro, it looks like. I love the little pleats. And then the little fur jacket. Look at the little fur jacket, it's so cute. So, you know, this is like a little outfit together. It's supposed to be this and the jacket and the little top and the little hat. So super cute, really happy with this. Hopefully when I try it on the doll, it fits well. We shall see. And last but certainly not least is this little pack. Again, you get a little hat, cute little hat. Look at the hat. And this is kind of like a sherbet-y colorway. Super cute. And then again, another little shirt with a kitty on it. That is hilarious. Look at the. Now the shirts, I have to say, in both of these are not made very well. They're kind of thin material and not sewn very well. I'm not mad at it for the price because the hat is nice. Look at this skirt. Oh, I love the skirt. Like the skirt and the hat and the jacket are worth what I paid minus the shirt. So I'm not mad at it. Like I said, this is really nice material, sewn very well. Don't know why they skimped out on the shirts though. I don't know that I would want this with that but this is a cute separate. I do like the decal and it is cute to me, so. But I do that anyway, like I put different things together. This coat is different shape than the other coat and different cuffs and whatnot. I really like the skirt, really like the jacket. Hat, you know, is cute, not my favorite. And like I said, kind of cheaply sewn, but not mad at it. So all of this cute stuff I'm in love with. I put the little hat on this girl here. Thought that was adorable. That is all my Timu goodies. I'm so glad I got to share them with y'all. That is all the dolly goodness from Timu. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you stayed with me this long, thank you so very much. Y'all are so sweet and kind. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some ideas for cute stuff that you can get for your dollies and your dolly world. Have a good time with your dollies and thank you for being with me and for watching y'all. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy, and safe, having a great, great dolly day and know that all the good, best things that are in this life, I hope that they come to you. I have to say, great, big, huge, 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 lovely subscriber love to all you wonderful, lovely subscribers. I can never say enough how wonderful, how awesome, how great y'all are, how much it means to me that y'all hit that button and joined our great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family, which grows by the day because of y'all. And I can't thank you enough for that. Y'all are so special and wonderful, really are the best. And like I said, I can never thank you enough for all the things you do. So thank you, thank you, y'all. If you have not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on, y'all. Join this great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built. I try new stuff. I ordered this Timu so we could check it out together. I've gotten into vlogging and doing the in-store videos when I'm thrifting, and then I do the shorts and tutorials, makeovers, anything you can think of in the Dolly world. I'm gonna try it here. I'm gonna give you a safe Dolly space where absolutely everyone is welcome, no matter what you're into whether it's lice, whether it's reborns, fashion dolls, toys, whatever it is, you're always welcome here. If you wanna become part of our safe, lovely dolly space that we have created here, come along and join us. See what dolly silliness and craziness we get up to because we would love to have you. And absolutely everyone is always welcome here. Well, y'all, we did it. We made it through this pretty big Timu haul and I think there'll be one in the future. I hope you had a good time and you know what I'm gonna say. Bye, y'all.